So, I really considered not making this video because it's kind of a scary topic for most people, but after reading all the comments that hundreds of you left in the previous video talking about all your future hopes, your goals, and your dreams, it's pretty clear to me that a large percentage of you are really serious about reaching for them. And as I was reading everyone's projects and everyone's goals, so much of what I was reading reminded me of myself when I was starting my journey for the first time years ago. And so, Today, I'm going to tell you the most important and most difficult lesson I learned when I was in your shoes. This was the most painful lesson, but it was also the most important. Because it is the foundation for everything in your future going forwards. Now, for the past few videos, we have talked a lot about time and why it's so important. But here is why it's such a big deal. I do project development consultations as a little side job. It's not really one of my main businesses, so I won't get into it here. But usually when I'm consulting someone, I start by asking them to tell me a little bit about themselves. And they'll usually say something like, Hi, this is my name. I have a full-time job, but I really want to be a game developer or I want to start my own company, or I want to be a YouTuber, or I want to make an awesome animation. And I'm like, cool. Then the next few questions I ask are to gauge what kind of resources they have available. So I'll then ask, do you have money? Because if you do, you can hire people to do things that you either don't want to do or don't have time to do. And almost everyone answers no to that question. Then my next question is, okay, do you have any friends or family with connections or experience in the project you are hoping to accomplish? And again, most people answer no. Then the next question I ask is, do you yourself have any experience or skills related to the goals of your project? And the answer most people tell me is, no, this is my first time, or I'm just starting from scratch. Then I'm like, okay. That's fine. Can you tell me what the schedule of an average day for you looks like? And the average day for most people that I've worked with looks like this. I'll wake up at 7.30 and then I work a full-time job, then get stuck in traffic after it's over, and get home at around 6 p.m. Then I waddle around on Twitter and YouTube for about 30 minutes after taking my shoes off when I get home. And then at 6.30, I go eat dinner with whoever doesn't flake out on me, come home at 8 or 9, and from 9 to 12, I just kind of relax and watch Netflix or play games until I fall asleep and repeat the cycle. So I hear this and think, okay. Cool. Well, from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. seems pretty important to you. Obviously, you need your job, you need to unwind, and even if your friends are flicky as f***, hanging out with people and having friends is extremely important. So if we want this project to happen, we are going to have to utilize this tiny chunk of time that you have between 9 and 12. And usually, as soon as I start talking like this, people get really nervous. And they say something like, well, you know, I kind of need that time to just relax, and then I say, okay, but can you at least dedicate one hour somewhere in there every day five days a week to building your project like literally just one hour between 9 to 12 p.m. and almost everyone I've talked to hesitates to tell me yes and from here the conversation goes something like well you know sometimes things come up and what if I get into an emergency or you know I might have a bad day and I'll tell you guys honestly right now as soon as the conversation goes into this territory here is what I as your consultant essentially have gathered so you have no money, you have no friends or family that can help, no previous experience, and no applicable skills. Which means, literally, time is all you have. And you don't even want to dedicate that. And the sad thing is, time is the only thing you need to build your dream. Like, really, if you're poor and stupid and you have no friends, no family, no skills, and no experience, but you're dedicated and you have one hour a day. I can work with that. We can work with that. We can turn one hour a day into an animation. We can turn one hour a day into a game. We can turn one hour a day into a YouTube channel. If all you have is one hour a day, that's enough. That's enough to build something. That's all you need to start building your dream. But you have to dedicate. You have to be consistent. Nobody wants to subscribe or follow a project where the developer uploads three screenshots a year and the last update was six months ago. Nobody wants to work with someone or on a team where the leader may or may not show up to work for one hour a day. Cause listen, if you can't dedicate one hour a day to building your dream, well let me ask you this, who can? No one is going to care about your dream more than you. And if you can't be bothered to build it, then how in the world can you expect anyone else to? So I'm sorry if this sounds really harsh, 
But the one thing I've always done here on this channel is provide solutions to real problems. I show you what works. So I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you about how shit gets done. All the software, all the AI, and all the tools in the world aren't gonna help you if you can't even bother taking time out of your day to use them. Consistently. So think about your schedule. Think about, realistically, where that hour in your day is. And really cherish it. Really protect it. That hour is your dream. You just gotta keep feeding it. So just remember, everything starts with dedication, reliability, and consistency. Find your hour. Figure out what it is. And just start working from there. So yeah, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you around.